Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we are back here inside of the beginner to pro scripting series over here, guys. This video is going to be focused on changing the properties of object right now, guys. I think that's the best that I can call this one. I don't really know what else I'd call it, but pretty much, guys, what exactly are we going to do today? Well, in script, we are going to um, change like the i'll show you guys how to change all these properties in one uh, with a script instead of having to like manually change them if you guys get what i mean over here so this is going to be an awesome video that you all are not going to want to miss out on before i start any from the folk here and show you guys exactly how you can go in and do this i first need to go in and tell you a little bit about rblxcodes.com which is my own roblox code website where you can find out game codes music codes and guides there is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out overall we cover codes for over 1000 roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there anyway guys i guess let's just go ahead and gotten into this video now so guys how exactly can you like change the properties of these objects over here guys well it's quite simple what we are going to do first of all is add a script right now and what we are actually going to go ahead and do make sure you guys just put any random part into your workspace and um, i showed you guys how to do this in part one but guys just click on this part button to the top over here and um, but since you guys once you have a part over here guys in your workspace it's just going to be called part right now so how exactly can we actually find this part in our script to change it? Well, there's multiple ways of us doing this, guys. The first one is by finding this in the workspace. So we can do this. We can do local part. Right now, guys, we are making a variable. It's equal to game dot workspace dot part. Sorry, guys. It's there we go and i'm going to explain what exactly we're doing over here so guys in the right you'll have your explorer or wherever you guys have positioned your explorer you'll have your explorer somewhere guys and in your explorer there's tons of different i'm just going to call them categories for now guys but um we can go in depth but for simple terms these are i'm going to call these categories over here right now guys so in our explorer we have multiple different categories and these categories are all under one thing and this thing is called the game hence why we are putting game over here guys then we want to find the workspace category um in here so we are going to go ahead and look and um, the script's going to look through all the categories and it's going to see which one is equal to the workspace which is this one over here and then it's going to open up that category as we're doing right now and then in this workspace category it's then going to go ahead and look for this and this is the part so it's going to look for something with the exact same name as that and that is this part over here right now guys if you were to change the name of the part let's change the name of the side over here and um, name it brick we would not be able to find this part by doing this we'd actually ne need to change it to brick right now half the time it will just like fill in for you guys which is quite nice so, yeah so make sure you guys do put the name the exact same as what it is um so that's one way that you guys can find the object the next way is if you actually add a script into an item and you can just simply do this so we can do local part is equal to script dot parent and that's finding the parent of the part um of of the script over here guys so the script is this this exact thing that we're writing in right now and it's looking for the parent of this guys so Think about this is kind of like a file system this is how you guys can relate it to what you may know um so think about it as a file system and um, you have your overall like files um and let's just name this like your computer hard drive or something like that guys so think about it as the game is your computer storage and then in your computer storage guys you're going to be looking for the workspace folder and in that workspace folder guys you want to look for the brick file think about it kind of like that so each dot it's opening up something in that previous thing that you guys have done if you guys get what i mean over here and the parent is just finding whatever this is under right now guys so whatever well the script currently is a child because it's below it's inside the brick right now guys um and the parent is whatever it is outside of the script over here so we could even add a new script in here and this um script right now would be the child to this script even though this script is the child to this brick if you guys get what i mean over here so yeah that's another way why you guys can find the individual parts but we're just going to do this right now guys so first things first we're going to do some color changing over here um if you want to let's say change the color of this brick first things first guys we want to actually click on the brick and you'll see first one is the brick color over here guys we have a bunch of different colors right now so what we're gonna do is do part um dot brick color as you can see over here that's the exact same thing that's called on the properties tab guys so you can literally just do dot for any anything over here i'm gonna select the random one that's gonna appear we're gonna just do pivot offset as you can see over here so this would show as you can see over here guys so whatever you click on dot is gonna be 
in here in summer in the properties tab over here guys but we're going to do brick color right now guys and then we're going to set this equal to brick color dot new and then guys what you want to do inside here is just select whatever brick color you guys want but of course don't make it that color because then you won't see it change let's say i want to name just turn my brick to to just black right now guys so it's green right now let's say i want to change it to black um it's just simply called black over here guys so what we're going to do is create some speech marks and then i'm just going to go and um, call it black right now guys and now if you start the game this brick is now going to be a black brick um if you turn around as you can see right now guys the brick is black which is really really useful however guys brick color it's not or you don't have the most selection with this one guys so you can also change the color um and that just brings up a whole co color wheel over here right now guys there's a bunch of stuff which you guys can do with this so instead we could do something like this guys so pot dot color as as you can see in the properties color is one of the properties is equal to color free dot new and then guys in here you can click on this and you can select a color which you guys want it to be let's name it let's put it this nice green color right now guys and then if you play this right now it's going to make it that nice green color so as you can see right now guys it's that green color over there you can also change other stuff with this um with, with the script over here guys let's say i want to change the material so as you can see right now guys there's a bunch of materials that you can change your pot to be um like for example ice that's is that ice i've got no idea uh, i don't really think that's a good one there we go guys like for example granite or something like that guys so i'm gonna go ahead and set this back to plastic right now so we can see a nice little nice little change over here and let's say i want to change um let, let's say i want to change the material of this so we're gonna do part dot material is equal to and then we can do um plastic right now guys but it's no sorry we, we can change it to something different let's change this to mud we'll change it to mud over here right now guys if i can actually type inside there mud there we go um and let's play this right now guys is this gonna work let's quickly have a little look and yeah as you can see right now guys it's now changed to mud which is pretty cool and even though i have deleted my thing where i changed the where i changed the color of this guys do not worry you can change multiple different properties in one script right now guys at once it doesn't matter so now it's gonna be a green mud block as you can see up there guys which is quite cool that's actually a nice little a nice little brick over there that we got right now guys again there's multiple other stuff we, which we can do right now we can change the size of this over here right now guys so let's say right now the size is 412 we can do this so part um dot size is equal to um vector free dot new um you guys need vector free dot new whenever you're doing some of the size and stuff and let's say we want to make it 10 10 10 that's going to make it a perfect cube right now however some of it's probably going to be hanging in the base plate so as you can see right now guys here it is a 10 by 10 by 10 cube which is really really cool if you guys need any help with this you can always receive one or one help from me on my patreon account guys um that is linked down below in the pinned comment up to this video on there you can also download every single roblox um studio file that i've ever showcased in my videos but there we go guys we've got the pot size right now also as you can see the pot pot's positioned over here right now guys so we can also change the position we can do pot um dot position is equal to vector free dot new and let's make the position somewhere really really different we'll just do 100 and then zero and then we'll just do 100 over there guys and now the pot's going to be positioned somewhere really really random across the map right now guys let's have a little look and as you can see right now that the pot's um off in the distance over here guys i can do the same with um orientation um as well so pot dot orientation is equal to vector free dot new um and then we can just put this as let's say i don't know 40 180 and uh, i don't 70 something like this guys i'm gonna quickly also anchor this part because it might just lie flat if i if i don't do that guys so yeah now it's gonna be on a really weird as you can see right now it's on a really weird orientation which is pretty cool and that is a lot of the things which you guys can do you can also change the transparency um as well guys so part um dot transparency is equal to one that's just going to make this invisible right now guys we're no longer going to be able to see it um and yeah every single every single property that you guys can see on the left here can be changed by a single script right now guys i've just shown you a bunch of these I recommend just experimenting around with this, guys, and you can literally do anything. Um, ones with which are about like location and that, you guys need to do vector free dot new. Ones which are to do with color, you'll need to do color free dot new. And there's a bunch of different stuff like that over there, guys. Um, but also as you can see, there's like cast shadow and that. The ones with the tick, 
are either true or false. So can collide can be true or false. If you guys get what I mean over there. Same with anchored right now, guys. So that's when you use true or false. And that is pretty much um, messing with the properties of pots in the thing over there there guys you can literally do anything i could change the properties of the starter player as well for script as well making like the health display on or off you can literally change the properties of anything with a single script right right now guys it does not have to be a pot it can literally be anything anything um anything guys that's how much you can do with scripts you can do a lot more as well but yeah that's how much script to Newton's kind of insane guys so i highly recommend to have a little play around with that yourself but that's going to be it for this video here i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out